she wants vengeance for every single thing that she went through. And she's on top. She's building her army. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel book Chris. I am Giselle. How are you going? What's up with the scene? We are going into a new month and that means we have new books releasing in the month of May, right? And I have exciting books that I want to share with you, but I also want to know which of these books you would like me to do like a reading vlog for or you'd like me to come back on and do a review for. So you have to watch throughout the entire video to know which of these books you are interested in hearing my review on or my take on. So if this is something that you like, this is something that you're looking forward to, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber how are you going what's up so let us get into these anticipated books that i am excited to read some of these books are just downright toxic some of these books have triggers but that is how we do here that is how i do not every single one has a trigger in it there's some there's just like one or two that may be on the lighter side because i do read those in between to give myself a break from all the heavy stuff but the first book that i'm ex super excited to read and i also mentioned this book in my video where i spoke about books that i was highly anticipated that are releasing in 2022 book of night by holly black is coming out it is releasing may 3rd yes and we're all for that this is a paranormal fantasy romance it contains some type of con artist and whatnot but i'm excited to read this okay this book it is definitely dark it has stuff with there's a lot of trigger warnings in this book you have a lot of blood depiction you have self-harm there's a lot of violence that's core i haven't read the book i did not receive an advanced copy for the book but this is one when i read the blurb giselle just needed to read it so <laughs> I'm going to read it another book that I am so excited to read one book that I listen 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 I can't wait for this book to be released is vengeance of a mafia queen 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 I want to read that because I read so many books with made men where men are the boss they are the head of the crime family dominating the crime will I want to read about this queen I want to. When you start reading the blurb, at the age of 13, she loses her innocence and her father had a major role to play in that. And now that he's dead, she wants vengeance for every single thing that she went through. And she's on top. She's building her army. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I cannot wait to read this book, y'all. Um, you don't know. You don't know. How excited I am. I'm sure there's going to be triggers in this one as well. Tell me you don't want to read that. Tell me you don't want to read that. I want to know who's the lucky guy that makes her bend. <laughs> I want to know who's the lucky guy that is going to um, make her feel something besides vengeance. Okay, let's move on. Y'all, I'm so excited for this book to be released in May. And it's releasing quite May 31st. I have to wait. The whole month, the whole month to read this book. Okay, so this book, I really want to read this one. Y'all, it's all there. It's all on my face. Really want to read this one. Ruthless Rival. Really want to read this one. So this is a second chance romance. But listen up. With this one, the hero, he was the son of the housekeeper and the heroine she's coming from money and so you know young love you know from friendship to you know they start having feelings for each other and then there's this one incident and because of this he is sent away never to be heard from again now 20 years after 
two decades. Her father is being sued. I'm being sued by who? Who is this big shot attorney? Who? Yes, that boy that they sent away. Listen, I can imagine how this is going to be because the heroine, she's all set on defending her dad. She wants to know who is this person that wants to sue her dad. She's about to put him in his place only to find out that it was your good friend, your childhood really good friend. I'm all for ruthless rival. Okay, so this book, don't know which side it's going to be on, but yeah. So this book, Sabotage. I want to read this one. Oh my goodness. I want to read this one so badly. Like, mm. in this book, it's with step siblings. Are we talking forbidden love? Are we talking taboo here? This, yes, yes. This is what we're talking here, taboo. Yeah, step siblings. So in this book, we have Colton and Riley and their step siblings. And now in Colton's mind, he has allowed Riley to do whatever she needs to do. Um, he's tired of seeing her with other men and he wants to make her his. And the way that he's about to do it or what he does, y'all. Mm. This one is a dark college romance with step sibling. As well as we have a little bit of MFMM in it. Yes, I told you we were talking taboo here. So Sabotage really, really want to read this one. This next one. So this is a sports romance, which I do enjoy reading. I'm telling you all, I love a good sports romance. Not every single one is good. But this one I'm excited to read. So Wild About You, it is where this hockey player, his teenage sister was, you know, expelled from school. So now he has to figure out what he's going to do with her. In comes a nanny who happens to be his sister's teacher. Love that book. Love that drama. I have no idea how this story is going to swing, but... I'm all for it. Wild About You, it is a second chance romance where his sister's teacher is actually his ex and he's dealing with a teenage girl as a superstar hockey player. So I can see this going in many different directions, but regardless of what, I want to read this sports second chance rule. So remember I spoke about, you know, having something a little softer in between. So this next book here is a romantic comedy. It's not something that I'm into, but this book is like seriously hyped. And I want to read it, to be honest. I want to read it just because it is so highly anticipated. Like I want to know what it is about this romantic comedy, something wilder by Christina Lauren. I want to see, I want to see what, what it is all about. Like, yeah, I can read the synopsis, but nothing compares to reading the book. So I just want to see, is this book going to be as fun and relaxing as some of her other books? Uh, yeah, I haven't read a romantic comedy in a while. So I'm actually looking forward to read this one just to critique it. Okay. So these books, I am seriously excited to read when they are released. Again, let me know which one do you want me to read? Which one you want me to come back on here and review? Or do you want me to do a reading vlog for you? This is the end of my highly anticipated releases that I am excited to read that I am looking forward to reading. So I hope you enjoyed my May TBR. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, yes, you need to subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you would know when I upload a video. Okay, so take care and look out until I post another one. Bye.